Hi guys, welcome back to Piper vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the core. Today we will be discussing about how to create a word cloud using Python. But before that, we will be checking the packages pre-installed in my system. So the first command that I am going to execute in command prompt is PIP list where you can see all the packages with the versions so it can give a look about what package is what version and update it accordingly. So you can take a look onto your packages. If not installed, please do install it. You can just Google how to install and there will be a command for that to execute in command prompt. Another command to check for all these is PIP freeze, which gives a similar output where packages with the version will be mentioned. So let's get started with the code. So the code starts with importing libraries such as tkinter and uh, from tkinter ttk. So import tkinter module, which is standard graphical user design interface toolkit for Python and TTK module, which provides theme widget components for TKinter. Again, we are having from word cloud import word cloud. Imports the word cloud class from the word cloud library, which is used to generate the clouds from the text data. And we have matplotlib, which is used for plotting data and creating visualization. In this program, it's used indirectly through the word cloud class for generating word clouds. And we also have PIL, which you guys must already know, which is used for, we used to work with images in various formats. These classes are used to convert the generated word cloud image into format capable with tkinter. And lastly, we have numpy, which is used indirectly through the word cloud class for converting the generated word cloud into numpy. All right, moving on to the main part of the program. We have the class word cloud app and under that we have different types of functions defined. First one including the initial function which describes the entire graphical GUI graphical user interface and then we have generate word cloud function and that's are the two major functions under the class. So let's start with the first, what, is, what has been defining in the initial function of the class. So here in this module, we start with initializing the tkinter window with the title of word cloud generator and next is sample sentences for the word clouds. So here I've given a variety of sentence which can be converted into word clouds such as Python is an amazing programming language. It is versatile, powerful and so on. So initialize a list sentence containing sample sentences which will be used for generating word clouds. So moving on to the next we have initialized a drop down menu to select sentences from the word so the whatever sentences that i've mentioned above we have a drop down menu that gives an option of choosing any one of them to, to create a word cloud so it initializes a drop down menu which is option menu with the sample sentences and sets the default selection to the first sentence so the default will be the python one Moving on to the next, we have to generate the word cloud button. So here creates a tkinter button label generate word cloud. When click, it calls the generate word cloud method to generate the word cloud based on the sentence which is selected. 
Now moving on to the next, we have to set up an area to portray the world cloud display area. So here it creates a tkinter canvas to display the generated word cloud. It specifies the dimension of the canvas as 800 into 400 pixels and adds to the grid layout. Moving on to the next, we have to configure the grid layout, which means the grid layout of the root window to ensure that the word cloud canvas expands to fill the available space. Let's move on to the second function of the class, which is generate word cloud. So here, first of all, we define the method called generate word cloud to generate the word cloud based on the selected sentences from the drop down menu. It retrieves the selected sentences using the get method of the sentence and also generate a word cloud object using the word cloud class from the word cloud library. It sets the width and the height of the word cloud canvas to 800 to 400 pixels, specifies a white background color and uses a tap pen color map for color visualization. And next converts the generated word cloud image to tkinter photo image object using the image image tk class from the pil module it creates a tkinter compatible image from the numpy array representation of the world cloud and finally we have to display the generated word cloud on the tkinter canvas or uh, at the top left corner zero is to zero it uses create image method to of the canvas to create an image object with the specified image and angle position and later we store a reference of the word cloud image in the canvas widget to prevent it from being garbage collected this ensures that the image remains visible on the canvas as long as the application is running so let's move on to the next which is the fman here it defines the main function to create a tkinter root window and initializes word cloud app application and then starts the tkinter event loop to run the application. Now the couple of uh, two sentences at the represents the block ensures that the main function is only executed when the script is run directly, not when imported as a module. Now let's quickly see the output of the program. So as usual, I'm going to go where the file is stored, copy the name, open command prompt. And Python space file name that you have copied dot py. So there is a GUI with the default statement. You can choose from the number of options that have given in the program and then click on the generate word cloud and it forms a word cloud. If you have learned something from this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.